Welcome to the Rare History Channel. 13 Inspiring Facts About Eleanor Roosevelt On October 11, 1884, Eleanor Roosevelt was born in New York City. Her lifetime achievements are almost too numerous to list, but these amazing facts should remind you why she's still celebrated as one of America's most influential first ladies and diplomats. Fact number 1. Eleanor was Eleanor Roosevelt's middle name. As a child, Anna Eleanor Roosevelt much preferred her middle name and would usually introduce herself by it as she grew older. Roosevelt wasn't wild about her childhood nickname either, her mother, Anna Hall Roosevelt, found the girl comically old-fashioned and often referred to her as Granny. Number 2. Eleanor Roosevelt was orphaned at a young age. When Anna Hall Roosevelt passed away in 1892, her husband Elliot, who struggled with alcoholism, was exiled from the family. Following these tragic events, eight-year-old Eleanor was left in the care of her maternal grandmother, Valentine Hall. Elliot, the younger brother of Theodore Roosevelt, attempted suicide by jumping out of a window in 1894. Despite surviving this fall, he suffered a seizure shortly thereafter and died on August 14, 1894. Number 3. Eleanor Roosevelt was Teddy Roosevelt's niece. Eleanor had presidential connections far before her marriage to FDR, and when the time came, she didn't even have to worry about taking his last name, she was born Anna Eleanor Roosevelt. She was Theodore Roosevelt's niece, her father was Teddy's younger brother Elliot. In case you're wondering, FDR comes from a different branch of the Roosevelt family. He was Teddy's fifth cousin, and fifth cousin once removed to Eleanor. The family was split into two distinct clans, both based in New York and each with its own distinct culture and ethos, FDR came from the Hyde Park Roosevelts, while Teddy and Eleanor came from the Oyster Bay Roosevelts. Number 4. The FBI investigated Eleanor extensively for communist activity. Between her support for civil liberties and doing stuff like inviting a student advocacy organization accused of communist connections to crash at the White House while they waited to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee, Eleanor was pretty unpopular with J. Edgar Hoover's FBI. It didn't help that she called Hoover's tactics Gestapoish, either. She was the subject of one of the largest single files from the era, adding up to around 3,000 pages. In addition to investigating her friends, family, and colleagues, the FBI tracked the existence of supposed Eleanor Clubs, which white Southern segregationists claimed were secret organizations planning uprisings that would cause their black domestic employees to turn against them. It turned out that, of course, they were just rumors started by segregationists who expressed fear of having to work in the kitchen or pay higher wages. Number 5. Eleanor Roosevelt Loved Field Hockey what did Eleanor Roosevelt consider the happiest day of her life? The day she made her private school's field hockey team. Number 6. President Theodore Roosevelt walked Eleanor down the aisle on her wedding day. I am as fond of Eleanor as if she were my daughter, T.R. once wrote. On March 17, 1905, just a few months into his second term, the president gave Eleanor away on her wedding day. Well, Franklin, T.R. later joked to her new husband, and his cousin, there's nothing like keeping the name in the family. Number 7. Eleanor Roosevelt organized press conferences exclusively for female reporters. Before FDR was first elected president in 1933, female journalists had usually been excluded from media events at the White House. Eleanor helped to level the playing field by hosting a series of women-only press conferences, which pressured newspapers into hiring more female reporters and helped Eleanor win over female voters on behalf of her husband. Number 8. Eleanor Roosevelt once flew with Amelia Earhart. The groundbreaking aviator inspired Eleanor to apply for her own pilot's license and even took her on a flight from D.C. to Baltimore in 1933. After Earhart vanished on her round-the-world attempt, Roosevelt told reporters, I am sure Amelia's last words were I have no regrets. Number 9. Eleanor Roosevelt wrote a syndicated newspaper column for 27 years. 
From 1935 to 1962, Roosevelt composed six articles a week about her political views and personal life. Simply titled My Day, the column featured her musings on such hot topics as Prohibition, Pearl Harbor, and Joseph McCarthy's communist witch hunt. In all that time, Eleanor missed only a single week's worth of deadlines, following her husband's death in 1945. Number 10. Eleanor Roosevelt protested segregation laws in Birmingham, Alabama. In 1938, the Southern Conference for Human Welfare held its inaugural meeting in Birmingham. Upon arriving, Roosevelt sat directly beside an African-American associate, ignoring the designated whites-only section. After being told that Birmingham's segregationist policies prohibited white and black persons from sitting together at public functions, Roosevelt asked for a ruler. Now measure the distance between this chair and that one, she said. After examining the gap separating the sections for white and black attendees, Roosevelt placed her chair an equal distance between them. They were afraid to arrest her, one witness claimed. Number 11. Eleanor Roosevelt starred in a margarine commercial. In 1959, she made a surprising appearance in a TV spot that helped popularize margarine as a preferred spread in America. Her endorsement of the product not only had a significant impact on consumer choices but also brought in a substantial income of $35,000. Demonstrating her commitment to social causes, she utilized the earnings to purchase 6,000 care packages for families in need, providing much-needed support and assistance. Number 11. Eleanor Roosevelt helped draft the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Eleanor Roosevelt played a pivotal role in the drafting of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, solidifying her legacy as a champion of human rights. In 1946, President Harry S. Truman appointed her as the U.S. Representative to the United Nations Human Rights Council. In this influential position, she played a key role in shaping the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. Collaborating with over 50 member states, Roosevelt worked tirelessly to establish a comprehensive framework that protected and upheld the fundamental rights and dignity of individuals worldwide. Her dedication to this important endeavor marked a significant milestone in the advancement of human rights on a global scale. Number 12. Eleanor Roosevelt earned 35 honorary degrees. Among the institutions that gave honorary degrees to Roosevelt were Russell Sage College, the John Marshall College of Law, and Oxford University. FDR only received 31 in his lifetime. Number 13. In her honor, Bill Clinton established the Eleanor Roosevelt Award for Human Rights. On the 50th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, President Bill Clinton honored Eleanor, the driving force behind the document, with the creation of the Eleanor Roosevelt Award for Human Rights. Clinton presented the award to American humanitarians and activists throughout his administration, as did Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton during the Obama administration.